Hi there. In this video, I'm using the FET Simulation Circuit Construction Kit DC Virtual Lab in order to test if certain materials are conductors or insulators. So obviously a conductor is going to allow charges to flow within a circuit and an insulator isn't. Now it's a simple series circuit. You can see it's very straightforward to make that. It's very easy to drag around these different components and make connections with the wires in order to build this simple series circuit. If I just drag in a wire actually, if you look at the end of this wire, you see it has a dotted line which is red. That means it's a connection has not been made yet. But if I drag this wire over it, it then turns black. So that has a connection. I now have a little gap in the circuit and I'm going to place in something like so, a paper clip. Now make this connection and once I make the connection on the right hand side, that will complete the circuit. If the paper clip conducts, then what's going to happen is this light here or this lamp is going to light. Let's see if that is the case. Let go of the left mouse button and of course you can see the electrons moving within the circuit. So we have a current in the circuit and of course the lamp is lighting and that means that the paper clip conducts. Let's try something else. So click on the paper clip and then the bin symbol, make that gap a little bit bigger. I'm going to place in that eraser, which is here. Do the same again and we'll check if the lamp lights, which it doesn't. So of course an eraser is an insulator, it's not conducting. One last thing, because some materials actually conduct electricity better than others. So if I go down, it tends to be, you'll find out if you're trying this Simul simulation yourself, you'll find out that of course metals are the best conductors. This is a non-metal, in fact it's making a connection to the pencil lead which is made of graphite which is a form of carbon. Now two things you'll notice, number one is that the electrons are moving slower and also you'll see that the lamp is not as bright as it was before. Now that tells us that first of all it is conducting, so pencil lead is a conductor even though it's a non-metal but it's not conducting as well as of course the paper clip did. What I could do, I'm going to move this over to the left hand side and in this portion I'm going to get rid of that wire and place an ammeter in order to measure the current in the circuit. So let's see, make that connection there and another connection right there and with the pencil in the circuit the current is 0 0.26 amps Let's see if I compare that to the paper clip again, like so. Move this over a little bit and place the paper clip in. Remember, we're comparing to 0 0.26 with the pencil lead. With the paper clip, however, I get a larger current, 0 0.9 amps. So, of course, that means that the paper clip is a better conductor. In fact, it means it has a lower resistance. So, the pencil lead has a larger resistance and therefore a smaller current. The paper clip has a lower resistance and therefore a larger current. Now, why don't you try building this circuit yourself? There will be, of course, a link in the description to this FET simulation. And you can try some of these other materials. You can try the dollar bill, the coin, the razor, as we've seen before. You can even place in a hand and a dog. I don't want to place that in myself. Uh, and the pencil, of course. It'd be nice if we could change that hand, if we could maybe try, there would be a difference between a wet hand, of course, and a dry hand, you would find a difference in the resistance and obviously a difference in the current. But anyway, try that out for yourself. It's a whole lot of fun. And you might even want to have a look at my physics channel because there's a whole series of videos which go into more detail, all using these FET simulations as well. For now though, that's us. We'll see you in the next one.